In this video, we will be connecting LinkCon 100 series software with the Agro 800 series controller. You'll need the LinkCon 100 series software package, which includes the installation USB, two wire DB9 pigtail, and the RS485 USB to serial converter. Now, to connect your controller to the PC with LinkCon, you would do the following. On the communication module from the RS-485 terminal block, you want to land your two wires, preferably red on A and black on B, and then you want to extend your two wire run from the greenhouse to the PC location. And then at the location of the PC, terminate your run with the two wire DB9 pigtail. And then Plug it into the RS-485 USB to serial converter. After that, plug your USB end into your USB port. After that, it's time to install your LinkCon 100 series software using the USB or the FTP link that you could download from our support section on our website. Now within the contents of the folder or zip file, you want to run the setup execution and follow the prompting of the installation of the software. You also want to install the USB to serial converters drivers within the contents of the USB or you can easily download them at fdichip.com. Now after you have installed your drivers, installed your software, simply open up your software. And with your software open, you'll notice that you have a serial port error at the bottom of the screen. And what you'll have to do is map the COM port of the software with the COM port of the USB to serial converter. Next, you want to go ahead and open up Device Manager on the PC and in Device Manager, you'll notice comms and LPT under the port section. Simply click the arrow pointing to the right, and it displays USB to serial port COM16. So from the software, you want to hit Settings, and then go to LinkCon Settings, and simply map it and save. Now once you have mapped the communications, we want to add our controllers to the software you would hit the home tab at the top and then you would add a zone. Now we have two zones we're going to add for demonstration purposes. We have zone one, address one, and zone two, address two, and they're linked together awaiting LinkCon 100 connectivity. Note, presently the COM status bar is blank and displaying no activity. So right now we're going to add zone one and add zone two. Right now it says address of zone 1, and we're going to add the zone. And immediately you see communication at the bottom of the screen reading real-time data on address 1. Also, this is where naming the controller with a unique name comes in handy. As you can see, it says link for zone 1. Now let's add our next zone and you notice that add a zone goes to the next address automatically. Add the zone. Now key R indicates that a key is required. If you click the U button, you're prompt to enter a key note where it displays a serial number. That's another indicator that the software sees your controller because it's displaying the serial number for link for zone one. And all we're gonna do now is just simply add our key. Now once you have add your keys, simply hit the OK button and immediately your zone comes to life. Now if additional zones are added in future, additional keys can be obtained by calling link for sales. Once keys are installed, your additional zones info become viewable with the LinkCon 100 series software platform. And that's our video on connecting LinkCon 100 with the iGirl 800